surf and saving money? It's not hard to find four-figure room rates at an upscale resort, but you can also find hotels in Maui for around $100 a night. Ann and Pat have visited this island three times before, and they offer up some great news. You don't have to blow your budget on a room. Instead of staying at a hotel, full-service hotel with all the amenities, we're staying at a condominium complex, which has a full kitchen. In other words, if you go with a condo, you can also save money on meals. This condo costs the Woodards $175 a night. Instead of going down to the hotel uh, buffet, you know, which you'll spend $30 per person on, we'll just go to the store and get some cereal or get some fruit, and that'll be our breakfast. The second largest of the Hawaiian islands is famous for world-class surfing and a variety of landscapes. From volcanoes to lush jungles to sandy beaches, you're not far from adventure or relaxation. Since this is the Woodard's fourth Maui vacation, they're not just doing the typical snorkeling and sunbathing. This is how we say good morning here in Hawaii. Pat and Ann signed up for a program called Ho'omanaho. For $72 a piece, the Woodards eat a customary breakfast, learn ancient traditions, and get a hands-on experience of Hawaiian culture. Hey, next we have Ka Eke Eke. This three-hour workshop shows you how Hawaiians used to fight, fish, and prepare food. I think paying $72 for uh, an experience like this is, is a heck of a bargain. You might be happy just exploring the old whaling port of Lahaina. With more than 40 restaurants here, meals start at $7 for lunch and 15 bucks for dinner. The Woodards save on food so they can splurge on their activities. But there are plenty of things to do in Maui that don't cost a dime. You can check out waterfalls in Hana, hike through mountainous terrain, hit one of the public beaches, or take a romantic walk along the shore at sunset. You can even spot whales right from the coast. Your best bet is McGregor Point during winter. The Woodards are glad they saved on their hotel and meals and splurged on activities they'll never forget. What's important for us to get value for the money. And by structuring the trip the way we did, by staying the way we do, by not eating out as much necessarily, we're able to afford coming to what I think is an ex experience that's a cut above the rest. Yeah.